It was like a plague sweeping across the nation, like a bulldozer pushing lovely scented wax across the graves of our ancestors. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Things were meant to smell the way they were meant to smell. It's as if someone said God did not have a nose. What kind of God would not have a nose and yet give us a nose? I suppose for me it was about 1987 when I first like saw my first candle and I realized there was an odor coming from it that smelt good, I guess. I mean, they were everywhere. Especially then, that's when it started becoming really popular. I was about 13 when I lit my first candle by myself in my room, and uh, it was heavy. Things started to change around 1986. They started modifying candles and potpourri dishes to smell glorious with many, many different scents. No one knew how extreme it was actually going to get. It's a scary world to live in when everything smells good, you know? Even poop. Poop's not supposed to smell good. It's supposed to smell like poop, you know? You light the candle and all of a sudden, it's good smelling poop, and that's just, it's weird, you know? It's weird. There are many scents upon the market nowadays, such as apricot, apple pie, black cherry, cherry blossom, watermelon extreme, strawberry sweetness, tangerine dream, mountain berry, peach pie, rhubarb pie, pumpkin pie, banana cream pie, oatmeal cream pie, blueberry pie, boysenberry pie, cherry pie, midnight magic, angels B.O., patchouli mayhem, peppermint perfection, virgin's bliss, sandalwood, Norwegian pomegranate, and the most infamous scent of them all, vanilla. Oh, I love the hippie smelling ones. Any of patchouli, any of that kind of natural ant there. Bug oil kind of stuff, all that stuff really, really did it for me, pushed me to the next level. I mean, I liked all the, you know, traditional ones, but um, I don't know if I could get my hands on some of that, some of that high bug. Dreadlock, Harry Pitt action, man, I was all about it. I started buying more and more candles. Couldn't help myself, impulse buys. I'd go to the store for, you know, baloney and walk out with five candles. The time it really got me was uh, I lit about five or six candles by myself. Nobody was home. And uh, poured a, you know, got a bubble bath going and Five or six candles is a little overboard, you know? Especially when you throw in like a John Mellencamp CD. And just dripped away. And I didn't wake up until uh, my family was there. And uh, they told me I had a problem. And I realized I had a problem. And uh, man, it all went downhill after that. When plugins hit the scene, everything changed and not for the better. Everything started smelling good, and I mean everything. Some people would find the most random of places to light a candle. Monster truck rallies, preschools, you name it, things smelt good. Too good. Every outlet in the house was filled with plugins, and uh, it burned sometimes. It was a really powerful sting, cinnamon. It would go up in your nasal cavities and just you'd be like, oh, you'd feel this rush and you were like, thank you to whoever invented plugins. And uh, that's when I realized I had a, a major, major league problem. And my friends did too. We all did. We couldn't, we couldn't shake it. It's a scary world to live in already, but when everywhere you go smells good, it's downright terrifying. I realized I had a problem when I, uh, when I cut the rope on all my friends and family and um, searched out new people that I could that I could bring my with. I didn't know how to manage my addiction to these candles. I mean it was really it was a tough thing for me to figure out how to live life and satisfy the people that cared about me and I cared about and still get my dirty, sexy, grungy 
and sniffing rowdiness out of it, you know. A lot of the scents you cannot find unless you go to the black market. And the black market is not where somebody wants to go to find candles. Only trouble arises with underground candle markets. Bloodshed, torture, kidnapping, rape, murder. I'll sell to anybody. I don't care how old you are. You be free. You got, you got the money. I got the wax. You pick a scent. The profit's just crazy. I just, I'm rolling the cash now and I'm not making my own wax. It's a little dangerous. But, uh, you know, you start making them smaller and, you know, you got nickel, nickel wax, dime wax, quarter wax, 50 cent wax, dollar wax, down to 30 wax, 250. Bigger style over the five buck wax, you know. I like to call that a Brazilian. Anything for a candle, you know, so it was fun. You know, get candles. Uh, but as soon as you were out, they were gone. Around the next day, there's no love. There's no real relationships. In some places of the region, it's gotten as extreme as you go to a rock concert and you hit a porta potty. There is candles left everywhere. No wick left. Some people just smear the wax on their upper lip and walk around, huffing all day long to the sounds of Dave Matthews Band and Pergy from the Black Eyed Peas, which is also a candle scent. I know, I know, I know who you are, I know who does it. Everybody does it, you can't hide from me. It doesn't matter, teachers, nuns, you know, gangbangers, doctors, orphans, everybody does it, you know? I went over to my mom's and she was having a Yo mama be waxing, she waxing with me. Yo mama be waxing, she waxing with me. Yeah, that's right. I got all your mamas and your sisters going to wax with this. Wax up me. Wax up. Wax on. Yeah, I'll give you what up. My family, um, they tried to give me help. I told them to f themselves. And um, they were gone. All my family and loved ones dissolved. Except for my cousin. To some, there's no hope at the end of the tunnel for such an addiction. Things aren't what they seem. For some people, it takes years to get over the fact. Some people just walk around with those funny nose clips that people wear when they go swimming to keep water out all the time. They get made fun of, and that also hurts the addict's self-esteem. Done some despicable things with wax in my day. I want to quit so much, but I think that it will be with me um, the day I die. I'll have candles lit. About four days into it, I started getting some really bad withdrawals, and uh, I started shaking, and <laughs> vanilla shakes are the worst, man. And uh, it, it can't even go to me. McDonald's and somebody orders a vanilla shake and I just, I look at them and I think they're teasing me. It's like, they just don't tease me, man. I got, I had a problem and I'm fixing it and I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna win. It's the battle of the candles, man. The battle of the candles. And I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. <laughs>